Or to throw it again. It's Phillips again. Breaks the tackle of Jace Whitaker and fights his way from earlier in games. Markel Jones, first run. He gets a yard. Defended right now by Jace Whitaker. Looking in his direction, and instead of going over the top, they throw the speed out. He makes a miss. He takes it to the end zone. For Ben starts playing during the play here, and they hand it off for the first time to D.J. Knox. Purdue, they are very thin at running back because of injuries all season. Tony Fields makes the tackle. Guys are special. They pick up a first down here with Knox exploding through that hole. Can't miss tackles when you're filling gaps and you have the opportunity to bring the running back down. Here comes one of those trick plays, and it's wide open downfield, but he stumbled. University, and you're going to see Herdman's going to release up the sideline, but he kind of stumbles, and, and Phillips are really... Second and ten. Zindelar swings it out. Knox dancing in space. Arizona rallies and shuts it down. A score. They're bringing five. Sindelar steps up and finds a window close to the marker to Bryson Hopkins. We'll see where they spot without hesitation. And they're not going to get it. Markel Jones, 72 in that game. It's a little backwards from what Jeff Brown prefers his offense to be, but if he's there, if it's there, they'll take it. Oh, Herdman back. Instead, they run it, and Jones shifts his way for a first down. See, and Drew Locke, their quarterback, he was on fire. Markel Jones lit a bit of misdirection. The football here would be the wise play. And Sindelar will look to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Coverage downfield is solid. Turns his shoulders and delivers in. I don't necessarily deserve that praise yet, but eventually I'll, I'll take that claim. Rohogu quickly tackled. Zellers. And Crookshank, guys who've been around the program for a while. Markel Jones has a first down. They run. Jones again as a hold and crosses mid. Yard scenarios like this. If they ride that line on third and one, they look to. Jones got hit at the line. Zone of territory. Trying it again. Markel Jones again with a much different result. First down Purdue inside the 25. Trevor Wood will be the starting DN. Sindelar lets it fly. He's got another touchdown to Gregory Phillips. Defense, everyone's going to be attracted to Pittman number 81. It helps open up the hole in the back end for Phillips. And he makes the catch. It's a well-thrown football. One of the things that Purdue does so well, it's really they manipulate the field. So they roll one way, then throw back the other, getting you to think that they're only going to utilize one half the field. But mind you, it's two tonight. That's tough to prepare for. Sindelar steps up, creating extra time. Mahungo makes the reception of the 22. Trying to get him to go back to home. Game's first two-score lead. Off play action. Sindelar is scanning the field. He comes underneath to Gregory Phillips, who's been his favorite target today. Phillips has a first. DJ Knox cuts it back. He's in for the Purdue. The Boilermakers will have it to start the second half. Chance to open this thing up. They go with a trick play, and Sindelar throws into double coverage incomplete. What are we doing with the, going to a kneel down 56 seconds? And you bet it is a trick play. They hand it off to DJ Knox. He gets a first down and more. They first down and 10. They do run it. And Markel Jones is inside. Tough catches to use their body. So perhaps one last look at the end zone. Sindelar for Mahungo. With the 49ers, a couple of different seasons in the 90s. That's the first down toss to Mahungu. Takes it. And Purdue ready to play. And as Jeff Brown was saying, bringing the thump over the first half of this game. It's gone throughout the course of their career. And of course they want to win this one and try to go out in the right way. Sindelar zips one for a first down to Bryce. Look how tight this window is. You use a switch release to be able to create that space. 